What's going on, y'all? This is Q Ortiz, your local San Diego massage therapist, musician, and artist. And today, I wanted to come on here and get into the idea of minimalism, my idea of minimalism, and moving. So when I say moving, that's like moving day when you're taking all your stuff out of your house and moving it somewhere else. Now... I've experienced different times where I've settled into places and then when it was time to go, right, spending that last month sort of packing everything up and then taking it out, right, shipping it or putting it in different cars and taking it to the new spot or storage, what have you. And one thing that I've learned over the years of moving and also just my mindset, especially with the minimalism, where it was back in, let me see, 2000, maybe 2018. Yeah, around that time. 2017, 18, where I really tapped into the idea of minimalism. So I think in one of my videos, I talked about my process, but just from Qigong, with Qigong, you're working on economy of motion. So you can think of like that with Tai Chi as well, where you're creating the most effect by the most minimal movements, right? Say least effort as well. You could apply that to where you're not tensing through the motion to push this thing over. It's just more integrating your body. So the motion is all integral in, in one, one direction. And your intention. So in that, because let's say psychologically you're refining and removing excess, I think that translates to your external world from, from your internal space of thinking. And that process had begun to be experienced in my life. When I got to this point, I was reflecting on decreasing my expenses and increasing my income as put by Dave Ramsey, financial advisor, financial guru, or however you describe him. But yeah, Dave Ramsey, check him out. He talks about seven baby steps and looking at the shortest path to wealth, basically. And the first step is developing a budget, and then the second is removing your debt. So debt being a hindrance to that financial place that you want to be in as far as having the money to spend, having the money to give, and just, yeah, investing as well. So those three those three things. And in this space, I had a storage unit and a room that I was renting. So I wanted to decrease that expense of the storage where I could just have my stuff in my room and not have a storage unit. But I was in a different situation and I needed the storage unit. So this was just a point of reflection and a point of wanting to basically review everything that I had and make a decision to either let it go or take it with me and not have it where I was in a gray area of it's just stuff in a separate area that I'm not using, I'm not looking at, but maybe I'll use it someday or when I get to a different place, I'll put it 
somewhere you get what i'm saying it was just it's sort of in that gray mixed area to where it's right now it's just a weight it's just stuff that i don't use at all and i'm paying to have that stored in this separate spot so moving forward i cut off the storage unit got all the things and went through that whole process was able to learn about processing a little more with when it comes to stuff and realizing the emotional attachment to stuff going through the rushing and then having to slow down and really go through piece by piece it got to a point where i got things pretty much down pretty much thrown out a lot of things thrown out different things kept but also things being organized so that was a big piece organization was a huge step and that's what i'm talking about now that's why i hope this video isn't too long i know we started we started getting deep and i i hope you find value in the insight that i am sharing so it could be something that you do think about and and see how you feel about it also just something that you can reflect on where when i moved and even even in so all right before i moved i was with i was with people who were more into decor and into sort of the energy of settling into a place where they might write paintings are fine but then certain furniture if you're doing like gardening or just having things to where when you would move out you would see that you need to replace or the work that you did like say if you put nails in the wall to hang this or hang whatever and then notice upon departure now i need to put the caulk on there and spackle this and sand this and make sure and maybe paint or just the spackles okay Oh, and then these plants, no, we don't want your plants. So, okay, now I got to dig up these plants and and go through this process, pack up this, move this furniture or what have you, replace these knobs because, no, they don't want that. Or all these things that you invested into a place that's not yours if you're renting. And this is just my perspective. Obviously, if those things inspire you then by all means i don't don't even take what i'm saying is it it doesn't matter right you if you're inspired then that's what it is i would i'm not stepping in front of your inspiration but i'm speaking just from experience and my mindset is just if i don't own the place then i don't necessarily feel that settled in the place so over the years my process has gotten more to having everything basically ready to move and i know that's unconventional it may not look pretty it's not the most aesthetic unless maybe i did shift some shift some things to make it a little more aesthetic but the similar idea right but what i'm saying is say with my laptop and all the gear for the computer i've been able to organize it so it's in the laptop bag hard drives mouse the cd player the laptop 
boom, zipped in the bag. That's where it goes. If I needed to leave, if I needed to pick it up, boom, I just pick up the bag. Same idea with the clothing. I've have them pretty much just like in a luggage and just take it from the luggage. So if I needed to go, I just organize that a bit. I might need to move some clothes because I, I got some more, a little more pieces that can maybe fit in that in that specific luggage. But I can move some of that, pack it, like just zip it up, done. Right? Some of the clothing hanging, they're on hangers. I just, I could take them out like that. The musical instruments in cases, plus just ready. The tools, my massage gear, the, let me see, like computer stuff, camera gear, everything. I made it a point to have a designated area for it. And also, it was tough with the art stuff because art, your gear can just accumulate because it's paints and brushes and canvases and it just keeps and then like bins for the water or bins for the paint or an easel so that kind of grew a little bit but then still making sure okay these are in boxes these are contained right nothing's really uncontained and just all over the place or sort of laid out in a way where if I needed to move that it would be like oh man okay so now I need to pack all this I need to pack it's just from a standpoint of all right just tidy this up a bit and put it in a in the truck in the van in the car whatever it is just being ready and that's that's pretty much how I see it where if I lived in a spot, if I was more settled into a spot, then I could see like really putting that energy into the space and having the garden or painting, right? Painting the room or putting art in there and and letting things breathe a little more. But in a space where it's renting, nah, I don't I don't necessarily feel that energy. And this is why I say over time and with experience, I've noticed my process of moving become a little more efficient because everything was pretty much ready to go and when it was time to go it was just a matter of just moving it so if you like this video click like <laughs> if you have any thoughts i def i want to hear your thoughts because yeah that's that's just that's one perspective that i've played with and and sort of adjusted so I definitely want to hear your thoughts about that for sure. Leave a comment below. And if you want to continue on this journey with me, click subscribe and we can vibe. Peace out.